Hi, I'm Steve, and today I'm going to be walking you through the quick and easy installation of the Rural Model 442 Swinging Mailbox Port. Alright, when you receive your Rural Model 442 Mailbox Port, we're going, to be, we're going to open it up. Included in the box is going to be the directions, a bag of bolts, that's your hardware kit, your metal spade, as well as the three main components of the post. You're gonna have your base that's driven into the ground, your upright for your adjustable height, and the boom itself. Now along with this, to install this mailbox support, I'm also gonna be using a 10 pound sledgehammer, a crescent wrench, a tape measure, and a Phillips screwdriver. Those are the only tools you're gonna to need to install this post. All right, the first step to installing the Rural Model 442 mailbox support is gonna to be to install the spade plate onto the base. Now the base is the piece that we are eventually gonna drive into the ground. The spade plate, we're gonna mount on these two holes like that, using bolts that are supplied with the hardware kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. There's two hex head bolts. One's a 3 eighths, one's a 5 sixteenths. Now you want to install this on the opposite side of your adjustment bolt up here. So I'm just going to slide them through. And then I'm gonna use my crescent wrench to tighten the bolts. All right, now when figuring out where to place the base into the ground, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna figure out where you want the front of your mailbox to be. So I'm gonna just come here and I'm gonna say, I want the front of my mailbox to be right there. Then I'm going to come back into the ditch. Now I'm going to utilize the tape measure. And I'm going to say 50 inches back from where I want the front of the mailbox to be. And I'm just going to make another mark with my foot. And that's where I'm going to install this post into the ground. All right, for the past 75 years, thousands of swing clear mailbox posts have been installed using a block of wood and a sledgehammer. Now unfortunately, this is a two person process. You need one person to hold the base and hold the block of the wood and another person to swing the hammer. Recently, we've come up with the Swing Clear Base Driver, which makes this a fully one person install. I'm just gonna go ahead and open this base driver up. And you can see here this base driver is gonna fit right inside the base. It has a thick piece of steel on top allowing you to bang on it. With the base driver installed, I'm gonna come back with the sledgehammer. I'm gonna start driving the base into the ground. I wanna go as straight as possible. That's plenty deep, base drive is very solid. Go ahead and remove, remove the base driver. Okay, now that we have the base installed, you're now gonna use your upright. You're gonna slide that inside the base. And now you can see where this is height adjustable. I'm gonna utilize my crescent wrench with the locking bolt that's on the back side, And I'm going to 
go ahead and tighten the locking bolt. You don't, at this point, you do not have to tighten it very much because there's gonna be, we're gonna be measuring the height and we're gonna be adjusting as necessary. All right, now as you can see, we have the base installed. I have the upright installed. Right now I have this about as high as it'll go. You can see we are set down into a ditch. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install the boom onto the upright. It just slides over the top. Now the United States Postal Service wants a mailbox height of 42 inches. So I'm gonna come back, I got my tape measure again. And as you can see right now, to the bottom of the post, we're at 32 inches. So for this application, an extension is gonna be necessary. All right, here we have a swing clear extension. This offers an additional 21 inches of added height for deep ditch applications just like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna remove the upright from the base and to install the extension onto the upright, I'm gonna come up to this asphalt right here. Now this is designed to be a very tight fit. We do not want this to spin. You can see I just got it started. Now I'm gonna to come to the pavement and I'm gonna go. And I've driven these two together. Now I can go ahead and come back to my base. I'm now gonna tighten the extension into the base. install the boom and now I'm going to come back and measure looking for my 42 inches as you can see I'm at 45 now so I'm just going to move it down a little bit Right about perfect there. Just a little bit above 42 inches. Once you get the weight of the mailbox and the board on here, it will drop a little bit. All right, now that the mailbox support is installed and set to the right height, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install one of our Swing Clear mailbox board adapters onto the post. Now, we make these boards in two sizes. You can see this is for a standard size mailbox. This is for a large size mailbox. On this post, we're gonna be installing a large mailbox. Now the two bolts come in the hardware kit with the original packaging of the 442. The holes are pre-drilled in the post, as well as the board. One thing I'd also like to point out is the screws for attaching the mailbox to the board are also included. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna install this board There'll be no drilling, nothing required. All right on. Okay, now we can go ahead and tighten these two bolts up and wrench again. All right, I've now got the board tightened onto the post. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the four mounting screws here that are included with the board. These will be for attaching the, the, the box to the board. I'm gonna bring my box up here now. You can see it slides right over the board. Position it wherever you'd like. I'm gonna position it right in the middle. And then using the Phillips screwdriver, I'm just gonna screw the screws into the board.
insulation is complete.